It happened again, another crash, more injuries in the high volume narrow lane Aurora Bridge. It immediately prompts memories of the fatal duck boat crash, which killed five people in September of 2015. And today, SDOT and the state acknowledge the litigation over that crash is holding up any potential changes. There have been calls to lower speed limits or reduce the north and southbound lanes from three to two, or even put up a barrier to prevent head-on crashes. State Senator Reuven Carlisle of Queen Anne says he's a proponent for lowering speeds. I'm a father of four kids and I've got three teenagers and I worry sick about their, uh, them driving. And I just worry every day when they go over that bridge like every parent does. And it should be noted that that duck boat crash was more serious than the one that we saw today. We know that a couple of people were injured, treated for injuries at Harborview Medical Center, but Seattle police at this point are not saying what exactly caused the crash, if it was head on or if another car clipped another car while they were going in the same southbound direction. But we can tell you that the investigation on the scene lasted just over an hour before traffic was reopened in all directions. That's the story for now live over Highway 99. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.